an account, it'll ask you that. All right, we're recording right now. Uh, looks like we only have 25 people at the moment, uh, but it is 1, 6, uh, 1116, so we will have to get started. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my camera down so you guys can see what's on my table, and we'll get started right away. Here we go. Okay, so make sure you guys have your packet. Looks like this. Um, if you don't have the packet, um, a blank sheet of paper will work just as fine. If you don't have either of those things, the third option is just to watch for right now, and you can always rewatch it later. All right, with that said, we're going to get started right away. Uh, so this is our workbook. Let's talk about what we've done so far. Uh, we've done the first page, which was going over the seven elements of art, which was pretty basic. And then basically what we're doing is going over each and every one of them individually. Um, and then we're talking about value. So value, we talked about how you could shade like this with blending. You could sh uh, add value by going something called hatching using the straight lines. We talked about cross hatching. Uh, we talked about stippling. This is my favorite one. Stippling using value by or creating sh uh, shading with just dots. And we have a couple examples below right here. That was value. Great job. Uh, then we also talked about the color wheel. We talked about how, here, let me move this over a little bit. We talked about how there are three primary colors. We talked about how there are three secondary colors. And then we did talk about a little bit that there are about six tertiary colors. So when you mix primary colors together, they equal secondary colors. But if you mix primary and secondary colors together, they equal tertiary colors. That's why you can see in my color wheel, I have about 12. 12 colors, but on your color wheel, you guys see only six. So we'll talk about that more later on, either next year or this year. I don't know. All right, so let me just remove these crayons because we don't need them for today. All right, so let's go to the next page. What we what else we did? All right, we talked about space, I believe, right? Did we talk about space in this class? We did? All right, so we talked about space. Pretty simple. It's basically uh, the art of how you put things on a page. Really cool. All right, the next one. All right, so I drew this one out just in case if um, you don't have a blank sheet or if you don't have this packet. So here we go. Let me just move this aside. So the page that we're working on today looks like this. It's called Balance. But if you have a blank sheet of paper, I kind of showed you guys how it's organized. So this is how it is if you don't have the packet. So it just says Balance on my blank sheet of paper. And then one box says Symmetrical. Another box says Asymmetrical. And then there's a blank rectangle in the bottom. So that's how you want to organize your paper like that, like that. If you don't have this worksheet, or sorry, this packet. Um, if you don't have either of these things, if you don't have the packet and you don't have the a blank sheet of paper, uh, just watch. Watching is fine as well. So here we go. All right. So we have some examples done here already. So the first one. So before we go, that let's read the directions first. It says there are two kinds of balance. There's symmetry and there's asymmetry. These tell us about how the art is designed or basically how it's like laid out. So we did a couple of these examples last year. Raise your hand if you guys remember the Symmetry Bug Project. You guys remember that project? You guys don't remember it? I think I have an example here somewhere. Let me just see if I can find it real quick in my big notebook. Oh, here it is. Here we go. You guys remember this from last year? Symmetry Bugs? You guys should be able to. You guys are third grade, right? Yeah. So we did like bugs like this. Some people did uh, some people did like ladybugs, some people did spiders, some people did butterflies like that. So these are all examples of symmetry because it's the same or it's kind of like mirrored on the other side. So bugs are a great example of symmetry. Um, symmetry can also be seen in like if it's like a reflection of water or someone's face. So those are all examples of symmetry. So now, you all have a blank um, square right here with a dividing line in the middle. Um, what I did was I turned my paper sideways and I kind of made like an island. And it's kind of reflecting on the river like that, kind of like that. Uh, what you guys can do, you guys can do whatever you guys want. I've seen people do like a bug like this. So what you're going to do in that blank square right there, I want you guys to make something symmetrical. So what I'm going to do is do my own example. So maybe I'll buy me paper and have like this but you guys have the packet already which is great so what i'm going to do is do something maybe simple maybe i'll do a butterfly 
So half a circle for the head, and then a long oval for the body. I'm going to copy both of those shapes on the other side. And I'll do wings. So wings on this side, and wings on this side, and I'm going to make sure it's symmetrical. There you go. If you want to go more advanced, you can. So that is a great example of symmetry. Great. Uh, Alyssa, do you have a question? Can I go over to Bandai? My name is Bladen. Oh, yeah. You don't have to ask for that. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. Um, so that's that. Let's talk about asymmetry. So when something's asymmetrical, it means basically when it doesn't mirror on the other side. So it says down here, I create an asymmetrical balance when I balance my size and weight and variety of images, but not evenly from the midline. So over here on this square, um, a tree could be symmetrical, but look how or where I put it. I put my tree a little bit off center, so it's not in the middle of my square. And then I put three clouds uh, kind of in random spots, so that way it's not symmetrical either. So that is my example of asymmetry. So you could do something that's asymmetrical on yours. So again, here's my blank sheet of paper. Here's my dividing line. So again, I'm doing this because just in case you don't have the packet. And then I'm going to draw something maybe something asymmetrical. Um, I know of something that's asymmetrical. A dog, if you draw like from the side view. So here is its front leg. Here's its back leg. And here's a tail on this side. And obviously, there, there won't be another tail on the other side. All on the side, there'll be a head. And then the body. So there you go. That's something that's asymmetrical. That's a good example of asymmetry. All right, the last one on this page, it says, do you know any shapes that are symmetrical? And it's asking you to draw them. So if you guys want to follow along with me, you can. I know a couple. I know for a fact that a circle is symmetrical. Basically, any way you divide a circle, it works. If you divide it in half like this, up and down, it's symmetrical on both sides. If you divide it side to side, it's symmetrical on both sides. If you divide even diagonally, it's symmetrical on both sides, yeah. So a circle is symmetrical. A triangle is symmetrical. So if it's an even triangle like mine, if you divide it from the point, it will turn out symmetrical. If you turn it out from this point, it should be symmetrical. All right. There we go. All right, I know some other shapes, maybe a square, maybe a rectangle. Um, not a rhombus, maybe a star, maybe. Yep, definitely a star. If divided the right way, and then a heart. Those are all symmetrical shapes. So I divide the square like this, it works. Divide in half, it works. Rectangle, same thing. If I divide it long ways or short ways, it works. Star in half works. Heart in half works. Okay. If you guys want to do it on your page, you can. Um, I did give examples of how these shapes would not work. Um, so if you look over here on this side, I'm just going to red marker real quick. I did show the class uh, last class how it doesn't work. So you can see my four triangles here. So again, uh, if you just divide the triangle in half like this, it's symmetrical. If the triangle is a different shape, so say, for instance, it's a long triangle, you divide this way it works. If it's an even triangle, you can divide it any way you want from the point, which is great. But if you look at this one, the triangle was divided in a certain way where it doesn't work. So this type of way doesn't work because it's not from a point and it's not symmetrical on both sides. So if I held it like this, or it's like the line in the middle, like that, this side will never be the same as that side, and that side will never be the same as that side. That's an example of how a symmetrical shape will not work. There we go. So that's the lesson of symmetry. 
Uh, if you guys want to keep going, you guys can. If you guys want to use the other side of your workbook on this side, you can make some more symmetrical shapes if you guys would like. Um, over here, you guys can see what's going on next week. Next week, we'll be talking about positive and negative space. So that's for next class. All right, so that's the example of balance um, when it comes to symmetry. Uh, we did the majority of it uh, last year. It was great. So you guys are very informative or very informed of balance today. So that's great. Um, let's see. I think there's another project we've done before. I think I have an example of it. Here it is. Do I do this project with you guys before? Yeah? Constance says no, though. Well, this project, um, you guys remember this? This is a good example of symmetry. So here is an example of a three-dimensional E. So it's symmetrical on both sides. So that was from last year. Here's mine over here. So this is a good example of symmetry again, how it kind of works. It's kind of cool. I might boost this up to third grade, so we might do this again. I haven't decided yet. But this is a really good project for learning how to do balance and symmetry. So that was a really cool project. All right. Uh, we only have about three minutes left. I did turn off chat because there were people using it inappropriately. Uh, but with that said, I will turn my camera around so you guys can see me because it is almost time to go. And then I will make sure that I stop recording. Okay, the recording has stopped.